Hey everyone, it's Elaine at Larkin Lane Creations. I hope everyone's having a good day. I thought today that I would talk a little bit about the few items that I have in my Esty shop. I've been there since about 2016 and I'm going to tell you why I got started in it. I had ordered a journal book. This happens to be it. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I got it, I was disappointed. They promised all kinds of fun pages and stuff. And I guess there are some different things in here. But it's just not really what I thought it was going to be. So, as I usually do, I say, you know what? I can do better. And, hopefully I did. This is normally around the journal when I sell it. I guess if it were this way, it'd be a belly band. So, maybe this way it's a shoulder band. Anyway, this is it. I do promise all kinds of different papers, which I think I deliver. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Wallpaper, paper out of books, maps, coloring book pages, both children's and adults. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I even have a little pocket that's got some other little goodies. And there's also things in those envelopes. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, I've also attached some more papers in the back that were loose. So... That way, if you want to use it for any kind of ephemera, you can. You know, and you don't have to necessarily keep my book intact. There's things in here that you may want to tear out and use in another art journal of yours. But anyway, so that's in my SD shop. Now, this is the same book. This is mine. And, you know, this is the same cover that I've, you know, painted. And I just have all kinds of stuff in here. It is just, as I always say, just a work in progress. It's things that's happened to me through the year, cards that I've kept, projects that maybe weren't so successful, but I put in my journal because I wanted to remember them. There's just all kinds of fun stuff in here. So anyway, that's one item that I have in my SD shop. And I also want to tell you, SD is a hard place. I ask, get asked all the time about, you know, how it is. I don't think it's very expensive to put your stuff in there, but it is hard to get noticed. And I will never forget to the day I die, the first sale that I had. I was driving down the road and I heard my phone make this funny noise. Now I'm not one to keep my phone in my hands all the time, but curiosity got the best of me. And I was like, what in the world was that funny noise? Well, I looked at it and it said, congratulations, you have your first sale. I was so excited. I cried for 50 miles. I am not kidding you. And the person that bought six journals from me was someone that I had met in a retreat at Paducah, Kentucky, when I was at the um, Stencil Girl retreat. And it was through um, Ephemera Paducah. So her name is George Anna, so I want to give her a shout out. And she came back and actually bought six more. So I was so excited. I had my first sale. It took about a year, and it's still been slow ever since. So yeah, I think about things to put in there. I'll drop something in, take it out. But... Anyway, so I do still have my journals in there. I've sold some out and about as well. And I've sold, I think, 13 on Esty. So never give up. You keep plugging away if you want to do an Esty sh shop store. You know, and, and somebody's going to notice you. Just, you got to keep plugging away. The other thing that I recently added to my Esty shop was some digital images. I had gone to a little auction and there was a basket of magazines that I really can thought about tearing up. That's what I was going to do with them. No one bid against me, so I got them cheap. It was about 25 magazines. But heavens, will you look at this? It is 1898. I can't tear this up. It is in great condition. I'm not even talking good. I'm talking great, considering this thing is over 100 years old. So, as I said, there were about 25 of them. So, I have put some pages from the one from 1898, and I have also put some pages from the one from October 1905 in my SD shop as digital images. I didn't do every page. There's a lot to them. But I was so excited when I looked at these, but it meant that, you know, I could not now tear them up. So, there went that plan. These are the only two right now where I have images from, but I have scanned in a couple of other ones. This one is 1915, and this one is 1914. I have these scanned in my computer. I just have to, you know, finish working on them and, and getting my watermark on them and stuff to get them in the SD shop. And then, of course, as I told you, I had 20-some of them. So I bought protective sleeves, and as you can see, 
I have plenty more to go, you know, if, if I get around to that. The most recent thing that I've put in my SD shop are blueprints. You know, I had done the um, challenge with Nick the Booksmith on the Desert Island Challenge, and the book that I did, I used blueprint paper. I had got so many comments about that. I think the funniest one of all was Tim Holtz would be jealous. That cracked me up with all the little blueprint things he does. So anyway, this very nice lady named Linda, she pretty much talked me into doing a custom order for her and selling her some blueprint plans. So I did. So I have rolls of 10 pages up on my SD shop. So, and that's really all I have. I have some blueprints, no guarantees on what you're gonna get. And then I also have the old time digital images. And then I have my art journals. Um, you know, so I'm just gonna ask you to stop by, check it out, make my shop one of your favorite. And as I do add other things, you know, you'll be one of the first ones to be notified. I doubt seriously that I'll go back and add any of my upcycling things. You know, it's kind of hard to ship granite and those big cabinet doors and stuff. So I probably will keep it small and do it. You know, this is all upcycling as well. All the leftover pages and leftover blueprints and old magazines. I consider that upcycling as well. So thanks for stopping by and checking out what I have to say. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm plugging along, I'm getting, you know, followers and I'm excited about it and excited to share what I do. So please stop by, ring that bell after you subscribe and I will catch you later. Bye.